Good morning, grade fours. Uh, I'm sorry that we're not in the music room. I wish we could all be in the music room together, but guess what? We're in my music room right now. I'm gonna lift this a little bit. You can see in the background, there's a grand piano right there. And that's my piano. Maybe I will play some tunes for you on that piano. It's really out of tune right now, unfortunately, but we're in the new music room for now. And until we get into the, our regular music room, we're going to meet in this music room. I wanna tell you that I miss you guys very, very, very much. Um, it's been a long time and um, I'm hoping that soon we'll be able to see each other and I can see your smiling faces and we can do our music. For now, this is what we're gonna do. First thing I wanna talk about is music night. Obviously, music night, you weren't able to do. But I want you to think that no, everything wasn't lost in this. You guys did, first of all, you did an incredible play, and some of you had incredible roles through it, and you should be really super, super, super proud of yourselves. And then when that play was done, you also learned a lot of music. And in that process, you were incredible leaders to our grade one, two, and three. And I could not be more proud. You guys learned your music and you helped be an example to the grade ones, twos, and threes. And on top of that, you learned a piece of music, I Will Sing, that was in parts. You sang a part that was a completely, completely different than the grade one, two, three. And that's part singing. And that's really, really, really tough to do. And you guys did it super well. So I don't want you to think that all was lost because you learned a lot of things. And one of the things that I really want you to do is I want you to keep singing these songs. I've left them all on Edsby. And whenever you feel like it, play them. I know I've seen some videos of some of you with your friends singing them on your laptops and on your notebooks. So absolutely keep doing that. I'm going to leave them all on Edsby. It's kind of exciting in some ways because next year you're going to be singing in the finale, but next year you're also doing something very, very different. And that is that you are going to be playing in a band. And I thought, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity for us to start thinking about what instruments we're gonna play or what instruments you're gonna play for next year. It's a tough decision. It's a very, very tough decision. And I've written some things down in Edsby for you, and I'm gonna guide you to see where to find it and what I want you to do over the next few weeks. So, but the reason why I wanna say that it's tough is that you are making a commitment to this instrument. When you finally choose, when we finally get to that point of choosing your instrument, you gotta realize you're gonna have a long relationship with that instrument. Most students start in grade five with their instrument and they play that instrument right to grade 12. That's the smartest thing that can happen because you'll just get better and better and better. What we don't wanna do is have you switching instruments all the time because you'll never get ahead. So we're gonna take our time narrowing it down to your top three, okay? And in the process, we're gonna take a look at a few videos that are gonna give us an idea of what every single instrument sounds like and what every instrument looks like. One of the most important things that you have to remember is that when you pick this instrument or when you pick your top three, because that's what I'm gonna be asking you to do. When you pick your top three, you can't go for what looks really cool or what's really shiny, or what has a nice shape. The most important thing you have to do is decide which one you love the sound. That's the most important thing, because ultimately you're gonna be taking that instrument home and practicing it. And if you don't like the sound of the instrument, you just like how it looks, you're not gonna get very good on it. So you want to absolutely love the sound. And that's the first and most important thing that you have to do. 
So as I said, over the next few weeks, we're going to take our time with this one because I want you to make a very smart decision. And once it's decided, I so look forward to the new grade five beginner band that will be starting next year. Okay, now I'm going to stop the video for a second and I am, I will be back.